Hi guys. I'm my story blends and I'm gonna translate the overall energy because that's what I do. So don't matter your zodiac when I say overall energy. Um, when it created, created it all, it all balance out to be the same. And I just pick up the breadcrumbs for each side and translate the overall energy if that makes sense. So feel free to enjoy and see where we're at or if there's any blind spots that we're missing. Hey, judgment. The chariot. Oh, ho, ho, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Seriously, though. I'm going to say why in a minute just because. Oh. Judgment. Is your relationship going through judgment right now? And this feels like a marriage base. That's why it's going through judgment. The Queen of Swords. The Magician. That's on the top of the deck. Oh boy. Alrighty, alrighty. You can manifest anything in your relationship. This is definitely marriage space. This is you have found who you are meant to be with. And you operate in like a magician because you can just do things that people are just like, oh my god, how? You know, y'all have that actual definition of a oneness. And that's compliments also, which is funny because the devil card came out, the devil energy, which this is just following the. These two go together. Let me explain it in that form of a way. As the two, when you become one and you're working with another person that you can physically see, you start coming off like a magician. And it seemed like the devil energy, because it's like, how are you doing this? You know, anytime people don't understand nothing, they just naturally say it gotta be evil, even though they do forget about, you know, Holy Spirit. But, um, that's the energy you're operating off of, using your spouse, like coming together as one. I'm not sure if this is there. This I don't know if this is a blind spot, which is intriguing to say, or this is where you're at, because the offering came out. It's an offering. Of a spouse to have the oneness, which is going with the devil energy, which is going to have you operating like a magician. It's your spouse. Either you found this person or you're going to run into this person. Your spouse, the Queen of Swords, is what's going to have you be able to operate like a magician because they already do. So it's like two people coming together and maybe one's a believer and one's not. One of you are going to have you thriving. And this is definitely going to be the female. And that's going to be judgment operating like that so that's super nice to know but for our overall energy at the top for this whole translation you're having anxieties which is intriguing because this anxiety is going with the queen of swords whatever you have an anxiety about is whatever you're working on these swords to me always represent justice to me um, but it can be painful at the same time. So whatever you have an obstacles about is your strength, which is why you're operating like a magician. 
but you have the swords, but your spouse has wandering eyes. They're looking back at something else. Like, your spouse has put the sword down and is looking somewhere else while you're still holding all the swords. But that's the overall energy. That's definitely why you're having tons of anxiety, for sure. And that's definitely going with his judgment. It seemed like. That's why I said, oh boy, because I already felt that energy. <laughs> Some energy you just can't just. Whew. But the six and nine flipped over out the cards. The wind blew it up, so I'm gonna use those for the bonus cards, and we got the two at the top. I'm gonna grab three more. Oh, that's a double two, a ten, and a six. Oh, this six and nine ain't going nowhere. You're in the dark, but you're evolving. Like, you got the nine, then you got the six. The six is the light and dark situation. You're in the dark, and that's one of the reasons why I said, I'm not sure if this is a, a blind spot, or is this, like, where the energy is at? It's because you in the, you, I don't know if this is even a balance. That's definitely that anxiety. Because you got the six, as I was saying, as into a light and dark situation. And then you got the nine, which is evolving. You have learned about light and dark situations. You got seven, which is you learned about the obvious, which you see with the sun. And then you have eight. You went past that as into you already thriving. And you got the nine. You have both of them energies as into your, you have a blind spot, but you have evolved at the same time. And that's definitely probably because your spouse has wandering eyes. They're all over the place right now. And when you're one and you have one that's wandering, oh Jesus, it becomes a situation. Then you have a six that came out again, and you got the ten. It's like you can't get out of the dark. You evolving, but you in the dark. And then you got two double twos. Which is like symbolizing the, the energy as into as the here realm and the after realm you're in the dark but you're thriving it, it, it makes sense about the here and after because it came out double but it's definitely making it understandable as into what the stress is and it's a crow here. I've been seeing a lot of crows lately. It's been so intriguing. I tell you no lie. But that's that. Now we're gonna see what our extra fortune got for us. I think I want to pull one more card out for this devil energy. I think I am really quick. For me, I always, this energy is the energy as into, I talked about it before because it's something I'm still learning about also, but this plays a really big part as into how in the beginning they say get to know a person, then have sex with them, then have kids. That transferring of energy that happens that is supposed to be on a marriage-based level can cause a lot of confusion. And this seems to be this energy as into somebody didn't know what they were doing when they were having intercourse they didn't understand the energy that they were taking on and it's just getting abused it seemed like but there's a connection that don't seem like it's it's not going anywhere it's like a soul tie that you put yourself in and you didn't even know it but karma did it to you not even karma karma and destiny you know, uh, something like a blueprint, they call it, or something of that nature. It's one of those situations. So it's like, it's no matter how far they try to run, they're going to wind up coming back together anyway. 
you just slowing each other down. Oh, we got two cars that came out. Let me see, I don't want my cars to fall over. <laughs> hey, you're able to manifest. And you got the world. Yeah, having the oneness is giving you the guidance to be able to manifest whatever you want, to have the foundation that you want. And you become one and you have like the world literally in your hands. <laughs> that is so awesome. So awesome. It makes me think about, I haven't talked to couples that have done it, but I always hear people talk about it like in a twin flame or a soulmate or even from experience that I have learned about when it comes to telepathy, telepathy as into being able to communicate with people from a distance. That's what you do in marriage. Being able to feel them when they're far away, knowing something is wrong. That's part of all this. This is marriage-based. Some people, I can do it with my son. Um, I know when something normally is wrong with him, I would just naturally sense it. Um, but for me, that's just... It's part of it, but for me, it's a little different just because he bloomed inside of me for a hot minute, nine months. And then he came outside of me, like I actually birthed him. And then I actually was hands on with him for five years straight. Like I never separated from him for five years straight. Um, I really didn't let nobody else hold him. So that's why I believe we have that strong connection where I just know what time it is all the time when it comes to him. But somebody who, you know, you didn't birth or nothing, didn't spend that much time with, it's a soul tie, it's a connection that you, uh, it's hard to explain a little bit, Jesus. I <laughs> said it's hard to explain a little, it kind of is, but it isn't. Because it's in the form of a way where people say, I felt I knew you before in another life, like, Something that has to continue over and over. But when y'all don't look the same, it might cause like a little confusion, if that makes sense. I'm going to make another video talking about this because it's, it's so deep. And it's like, I want to talk about it, but it's like my brain wasn't there, if that makes sense. Um... My brain wasn't there, if that makes sense. <sighs> I don't know what that means, but... I'm going to make another video about that. Because that is things that catch my attention. It's the, that's actually part of the work that I do. Um, explaining the importance of transferring energy. Because I do see it's something that's really serious that people don't talk about. Um, that plays a really, really big part in a lot of things. And this energy is definitely that. That's what brought my attention to that. Because this is the energy. As into... Whoever you transferred energy with... It's like you connected. It, it was like a, a magnet. And one of them may not even know it. Or you really could be married to them already. But... They have wondering eyes. And it's messing up the oneness. It's, it's causing an unbalance. As into I said before, as into this don't even seem like a balance. How are you thriving but in the dark? It's because one is one's looking straight and the other one's going that way. When you both should be that way. Or you both could be looking that way, or you know, like a uh what is it, an hour they can spin their whole head around, but you're one, not separating, and this is this energy, so, that gotta get fixed, <laughs> how do you fix that, there gotta be some communication, and that, that's funny also, is because I already have pulled the stones and crystals and our extra accessory, and the tooth came out, which is communication, which is above the chariot, above the couple. They gotta have a conversation. A 
about something they exchanged of energy. Something was offered to them that they might didn't understand what they were doing. But they have marriage energy, soul tie energy. Um, then we got the oop, boom, 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 boom. You make my you make my head spin right around. I'm about to say you make my heart spin right around right around. You make my head spin. Look at that out right there. Right or right around. Like this is that deep, deep love. Which is bringing you the magician. That's what you're operating like for sure. When I say a magician, I mean you may be coming off as wis wicked um, or evil. Because it's just like, how do you know that? Like your spouse may do things or you may do things and your spouse notice. Like how do you know that? You know, they might start getting freaked out. They might think you're a witch or something. Honestly. And that's just who you are. It's coming off as a queen of swords, but you just of that power. Because you are one. You are having guidance from the Holy Spirit who created everything. It's like, how do you go wrong when you are working with the Creator? And you live in the Creator home. Like. And then we have the angel's assistant, which is because of the Holy Spirit again. And it comes with judgment. And the devil energy, that's the guidance, and this is you two, bound together with the guidance right here. And it's falling up under the bonus cards as to the hero realm and the after realm, and it came out double. That's why I definitely said, you may be coming off like wicked, like, oh my god, spooky.com. <laughs> but it's not a bad thing, it's beneficial, people just get freaked out I noticed by things they don't understand because they think they're supposed to see everything like the sun but even the sun misses things like I like to explain a lot of times as into you out during the daytime you riding down the street and there's so many things that you miss but soon as it becomes dimmer outside they call it nighttime you ride down that same street you notice things that's been there for years that you just now recognize like how is that possible? You know? But for me, the moon is a calmer receiving type of energy other than the sun. The sun, it, it's a it's a pressure type of energy. Like It applies pressure. <laughs> but I have learned to appreciate it. But that bad boy hot for a reason. This came out last time. A person is not wise simply because one talks a lot. And I actually got some more. I went and actually got a new one yesterday, which was awesome. It's kind of a side note, but somebody had realized what I do. They had seen my cards, and I told them that I do tarot. And she was just like, she was curious, so she asked me to pull a card. So I pulled a card out for her, and she got the justice card. Um, and she was just like, what does that mean? What does that mean? And I'm just like, it's supposed to resonate with you. Somewhere, justice is going to be beneficial for you. And then she was like, well, I'm going to have a settlement coming out soon. And I'm like, see, see, is it resonating with you? I can't just tell you, you know, that's as much as I'm able to give you. As in, see, justice will be getting served and you'll benefit soon. Um... But then yesterday, I got a new fortune cookie, and it said, um, something about you'll be having more money coming, something of that nature. And I just was like, how so awesome, you know. But she, she was already looking forward to that. Like, that was the first thing she thought of. Like, <gasps> I was like, hey, maybe. All I know is justice will be getting served beneficially for you. Um, but as I was saying... And our fortune cookie extra that we just got now. A person is not wise simply because one talks a lot. Huh. How is that resonating with this energy? I don't know. This has to go with a couple. They got to have a conversation. This, this is energy. As into... 
This is it's damaging. It's like even if you don't talk to them, you still reflect in each other. It's like part of them Ten Commandments when they say don't do these things and you don't even know the energy that you just took parts in is damaging. And this is this is this energy. But it's just intriguing because one of you is thriving. I guess the female. They're still thriving, but they're in the dark. It, which kind of makes sense. When you are one, like a coin, but you only operating off one side because your other one is blind or they go and put a face mask on so you can't really see. Even though for me, I notice I can. It's like I can see through my partner's eyes. I, I know when they've been in certain people's face. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but seriously, I, I start actually seeing them in my vision. It'd be so intriguing. I learned to do that. But, um, remember, be kind, you are a reflection.